everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Cheryl I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is in today's video we are going to hold on a second okay in today's video, we are going shopping to try to find a few affordable things to decorate with for spring and summer. Now, I know you're saying, Cheryl, you're supposed to be using what you have. And we are using what we have. But as I told you guys in the past, I am allotting myself $25 a month. Who am I kidding? <laughs> that has totally gone out the window. But... I am shopping on a budget, guys. I'm not spending a lot of money. Yeah, if it makes you happy, why not do it? Life is too short, right? So yeah, we're gonna do what makes us happy, but in moderation. So for today's video, we are going shopping to see what we can find to decorate our homes for spring and summer. So I wanted to change up my living room a little bit. I told you guys I am introducing white for spring. If you missed my previous videos, I showed you how I have been decorating here in my home using white. I showed you how to dupe over the top floral arrangements for spring and summer. If you missed any of those videos, I will leave them linked down in the, in the description box down below, as well as in the iCards above. Yeah, but I want to find a few more things to decorate my home for spring and summer. So I thought I would take you along with me today. So if you're looking for some spring decorating inspiration, make sure you watch until the very end. I'll show you what I picked up and then I'll show you how we're going to use those things in my home. So if you're needing some spring decorating inspiration, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch till the end. Now let's go shopping. Baby, you'll be fine You'll be fine, 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 fine 
All right, guys, as you can see, Home Goods had a lot of really nice items, a lot of things on clearance. Um, I didn't find a lot. Again, I was going to the store to pick up items that I could use in my home for spring and summer. And in particular, I was looking for items in white. Well, I found the perfect things, things that I had it's a vase that I picked up previously to use in my loft upstairs, but I found them in a smaller size. So I went ahead and picked them up because I was going to use them to style them on my dining table. Well, let me show you what happened. Guys, I am so mad. <laughs> Look what happened. So these were in my back seat and I opened the door and the bag fell out and broke. Oh my gosh, I'm so pissed. Oh my gosh. It totally ruins my thought of how I'm gonna decorate my dining room table. Darn it. Here's the other piece. So broken, but I'm not giving up, you see. I have my glue out and I'm gonna try to piece this back together. I'm so upset. I really love this piece. So let's keep our fingers crossed. We can put this back together. It's only three pieces, four pieces total. We can do it, right? And if we put flowers or something in it, you won't even know it was broken because of the geometric design that it has, or let's hope so. <laughs> Yes, I broke them. I'm so mad, but I'm going to try to save the one. It'll be cracked, but I'm going to try to save it, guys. I just have to. I'm going to try to save it. So, yeah, that's what I picked up. So, let me show you one that is not broken. I showed you guys larger ones of these in the past that I'm going to be using in my loft upstairs, and it looks like this. And because, you know, it has the lines and things in it, maybe the crack won't be as noticeable if I, I can repair the one piece, but this is how this looks. And then, I hope I don't break that one. And then I picked up the smaller one in this size. So, so cute. This was $5.99, and this one is $12.99, if you can see that. So I thought they would look perfect here on my dining room table. As you know, my dining room table is black. So I thought the white would just completely pop off that. So I picked that up. And then I also found this piece, it's like selenite. If you can see that. I didn't pick up the selenite sticks, but I thought this selenite bowl was really cute. It did have some chips in it, unfortunately. It was $16.99, but I asked for a discount and they gave it to me for $15. So I thought this would be cute, used to style on your coffee table or to put your jewelry in, so, so pretty. So I picked that up. And then the last thing that I picked up from Home Goods, sorry is this piece. I know you're saying, Cheryl, it's not white, but it is shiny. So it will bring in light into my family room. So I picked this up. This was $34.99. And I thought that was a great deal considering the size. So, oh, I did pick up one other thing. So let me show you. All right, so over here in my family room, I decided to remove the large faux trees that I had in each corner. And as you can see, it has opened up the space considerably. Look at that. So one other thing that I did is change the curtains. You guys remember, I wanted to use white curtains in here, but the white kept reading yellow. And yeah, couldn't do the yellow, so I found these, these were called gray, grayish white, and I thought they would work perfect here in the space. I don't know if you can tell, 
but they are gray. And so I use them over in my dining room as well as over here in the family room. So this is how it's looking. What do you think guys? Don't mind the mess because <laughs> I've been trying to work and, and edit on, and uh, trying to work on editing a video if I could talk. But yeah, so this is how the curtains are looking. So on this side, I also wanted to brighten up the space. I've had these paintings here for a while now. These came from Burlington. I want to say they were $40 a piece, $39.99. So when I was at Home Goods today, I saw this. They were marking down all of their oversized artwork. So I got this for $89. So my thought process is to take down those two canvases and put up this canvas, but not hang it horizontal, or not hang it vertically, but horizontally to take up more space on the wall. What do you think? Will that be too much white? Now that I'm looking at it in the camera, I just love the colors of this. You know, it brings in the colors that I love, the green, the touch of gold. My boyfriend doesn't like that, but <laughs> he did let me keep these paintings, but I don't know, I wanted to change it out to this white one. Don't mind the cord, as I said, I've been editing a video. Um, and I just, I sit on the couch and do it. So that's why the cord's there. Because I don't, my cord's not long enough, um, to reach the outlet. But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Should I leave the paintings that I have up here currently? And yes, they are two different colors. I was supposed to paint the silver one and I never did. Or the, the gold one and vice versa, I never did. But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. What should I do here? I am thinking I am going to change it out, but I need my boyfriend's help, so we're gonna wait on that. But let me show you what else I picked up. All right, so this is how my dining room table has looked for, I wanna say, past couple of weeks, just plain black. So what I thought I would do is try to bring in some light into this space. And so we're going to use something a little unconventional to do that. Let me show you. All right, so what I'm going to do is bring in this mirror. And it's just a $5 mirror that I picked up from Walmart, gosh, two or three years ago. But I think it will bring that added light to the table. Can you see that? I just wanna make sure this is centered. Again, we're thinking outside the box and we're going to use this mirror as our table runner. So I just need to wipe it down. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the mirror is reflecting the light from my patio door and it's bringing that added light to the table, which I'm absolutely loving. Now though, I want to bring in a few other elements. So I do like these. I showed you these in a previous haul. They reminded me of something that you would see from CB2. Now, I also showed you guys these candles that I picked up during Christmas. They're white and ribbed. These came from Amazon. They are flameless. In case you're interested, I will leave them linked in the description box down below. But we're gonna add these to the table. And so I have several sizes. So I'm going to put one, I think on either side. To bring in that light. We really want them to be stacked. 
or staggered. How can I do this? light and bright in here for spring and summer. So this is the design that I have come up with. So let's take a closer look. So here is how it's looking. I love the white and the glass together. Again, it brings in that extra brightness into the space because my coffee table or coffee table, my dining table is black. But as you can see, the glass and the crystal chandelier go really well together. And I absolutely love it. So now, I also, let me show you what else I picked up. All right, so that's this look. But let me tell you what I had in intended with these vases. So I was going to take these vases and switch out these black iron ones and use these if I had not broken the one. But now that it's broken, it won't be the same. I'm going to gingerly move it, this broken piece, over here on the table. I'm going to have to try to find another one. But this is the effect, just so you get the idea of where I was trying to go with this before the one got broken but look at that look how pretty that is and can you see some candles glowing in these the glass ones at night oh my gosh it would be so so pretty to go and break it but this is what I was going for let's take a closer look another one of these candle holders because I have to have this look I absolutely love it it brings so much light and it works really well with the chandelier oh my gosh so oh, keep your fingers crossed that I find another smaller piece because I am so bummed about breaking it all right I picked up these faux flowers these came from Amazon. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. They were five for, it's like $22. And what I wanna do is change out this floral arrangement. I like it, but I think it's a little too small for the space. So I'm going to add these along with that base that we just picked up from Home Goods. All right, so for this area, we're going to move out this plant and we'll set it over here for now. 
And then I want to bring in I want to bring in this vase that we picked up from Home Goods. How does that look? Let's add our florals again. This is how they look. So, so pretty, so big and so fluffy white. We're gonna have to bend our stems though. And this opening is very small. Hopefully we can get it in here without causing another accident. We might have to just leave them long and see how we can work with them that way. So this is going to be a statement piece for sure, if we can get them down in here. And maybe we can squeeze one more of these. Can you see that? We can squeeze one more of these in here. looking. I wish I could stick these down in here further. Probably gonna have to cut these. Hold on. All right, so I cut the stems. This is how it's looking now. And it should fit further down in the vase so that it looks better. is how it is looking. What do you think? I don't know. I like the white. All white. But does it need something more? I don't know. And then once we get our white canvas hung up, how would that look? I like the vase. I don't like the flowers. I just think it might need a little bit something more. All right, did you say I picked up that white face that we put back down in Ross? If you said yes, she picked it up, you're absolutely right. So this is how it looks here on my console table in my family room. So I switched it out from the silver one and I have put the florals in it, and this is how it's looking. And I don't know, guys, I think I like the white vase a lot better in this space. Down below, let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave this here for now, but yeah, I think I absolutely like it here. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Just look at how much more light is in the space since I changed out the curtains here in the dining room. I absolutely love it. And don't mind my patio. That's gonna be one of the projects that we'll be tackling this summer. The deck needs to be repainted. The furniture needs to be clean. All of that will be happening for spring. So again, it just brings so much more light into the space. Absolutely love how it's looking in here. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think.
the gray curtains are good or nah. I think they're good. Then don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.